pulled out. And there is a big secular movement within Israel to create a more equitable society and to create safer standards for all people. What about here? How are you going to make an equitable society here because of the ramifications we are, we of the Jewish, Al Jewish people are working hand in hand with black people, and it doesn't help. How are Where? you supposed to? How? Wait, hold on, Tariq. Let me say one thing, and then and then you can jump in. How are Jewish people? How am I supposed to be able to convince other Jewish people to to get in line with with black people when you literally have the the biggest purveyor of anti-Semitism is a black person no, right now not. in this country? No, but Kanye, he, but Kanye, he is. Kanye is a bipolar clown. He hasn't harmed anybody, and nobody's taking His Kanye. Rhetoric will lead to no, people no, getting genocide. You don't no. no. You have that's, well. That's what no. Overreact. Okay. Okay. No. You can to say he's the biggest purveyor of anti-Semitism, and you have these white nationals running around here in Charlottesville yelling the Jews will not replace us. You guys don't say nothing about them. These people are the ones who are actually shooting up synagogues, and the Proud Boys and all these guys running around here doing real things. And you're going to sit here and scapegoat Kanye, a bipolar rapper who nobody is really taken seriously. Nobody's doing anything to Jewish people because of Kanye. That's a cop-out. What are you talking about? Jewish people have literally, the Anti-Defamation League, the Southern Poverty Law Center, everyone in Charlottesville that, that did the Unite the Right rally, that were doing the swastikas and carrying the teaching torches, all, most of those people ended up in jail or have been sued. We have vehemently but, gone after those people. So to no, say that Jewish people haven't confronted they, no, white they haven't nationalists really gone in on those folks. Serious? They haven't gone in on those folks. The the reason why they these white nationalists have the, the guy they have driving no. the vehicle. They don't got, do it now. They have life in prison. They don't go in on the. You got Nick Fuentes running around here. Nick Fuentes, rather, he's been doing his anti-Semitism thing for years. They're just now getting on his case because he's hanging with Kanye. And this guy was directly involved with a lot of these white nationalist groups who get into these violent acts. They don't and really he was go in on, on the jail. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rikakadash. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shah be the name of His only begotten Son, who they even call Jesus Christ. Now, this um, Jewish man with Tariq Nasheed is exposing how these Edomites is the epitome of deceptive liars because what they gonna do is gaslight you on obvious facts on obvious realities and they gonna gaslight you and like he said I'm white and I say so now it's a clear situation how these people are the same people but he trying to say ethnically Jewish people and white people are different. Where do they get that from? You can't tell these people they cut their hair off. You can't tell who is who. You're going to see them and you're going to say they are white peoples. And even with... uh the so-called Hamites and the Negroes here in America, you can see that they different people in the facial features. But when it comes to these people, they look just alike. You can't tell a so-called white person and a so-called Jewish person. You can't tell no difference, man, just by the outfit outfit that they wearing. And uh, it's a small difference, just like it's a small difference between a Mexican and a Puerto Rican. But these people, you can tell they're still the same people. Now, when you get to um, him talking about the civil rights movement, he's saying that the civil rights movement was uh, controlled by the so-called Jewish people. And because they had influence in the media. See, and these, these companies been owned by these... Uh, these um Amalekites. See, they've been owning this stuff. They not just oh, owning the business. They not just getting into the business. They were the founders of these businesses. But anyhow, let me go into the scriptures and show how these people are supreme liars, man. See, King David knew what he was talking about. 
and he was proclaiming that these people love to tell a lie. This man talking about he's only three Jewish people that own slaves. Good Lord. Now, King David, he talking about specific people. He said, some of, verse 1, a son of David when Doeg the Edomite came and told Saul something, running his mouth. David went on to say in verse 2, your tongue divides mischief like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Verse 3, thou loveth evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness. You love all devouring words, O oh, you deceitful tongue. See, this is what these people do, man. They love to tell a lie and a bold-faced lie. They're the supreme gaslighters. They're going to gaslight you every time in any conversation. They're going to switch the subject. They're going to um, talk you semantics. See, want to bring up some, some emotional crap and try to change the conversation. That's what gaslighting is all about. See, they are the master gaslighters. A bunch of lies. See, they they was the one that popped off the the, the um, civil rights movement. Now this Levitt, these Levitt brothers that he was bringing up with the suburbs, they were supposedly uh, coming from that community. And they started the suburbs. We all know that the suburbs is not Jew a Jewish community. This is a community for white people. So what is he talking about? See, that they trying to hide under this one tribe of Edomites. See, they trying to use this one tribe of Edomites, which it is what it is. This one tribe of Edomites is controlling the situation and they don't they're not gonna say we Amalek, we the top tribe of the Edomites. No. They love to lie. See, they love all the violent words. They're not going to sit up here and tell a, tell the truth. See, let's get them in Malachi one and four. Talking about the Edomites, he said, Whereas Edom says, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the dust of the places. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they shall build, see, build a suburb, build America, build all the U Europe and the state of Israel. But I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. See, these are the individuals that's doing the wickedness. They love wickedness. Now, let's get this slave trade real quick because they want to act like they, they want to involve. Now, we see the second coming of Yahweh Shah. Is in Joel 3. I will gather all the nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and plead with them there for my people and my heritage, Israel. This World War II. That's what, I mean, World War III, when he's going to plead with all the nations for his people. Revelation 16 and 14 restates that situation. Now, but look at who is these people. Verse 6, it says, The children of Judah and, and the children of Jerusalem have he sold unto the Grecians. Who was these Grecians that was, who was selling the Israelites? And, and, Tyre, and look at verse 4. It says, Yeah, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? See, Tyre and Zidon sold all the data Africans who was selling the Israelites to the Grecians. But who was the Grecian? Verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolation. So that's the Hamites. It says, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. 
See, the, the Edomites is the so-called white man. They were the one that the Africans were selling the Israelites to. And he letting it be known, both of y'all from the pen get it. You going to be the two main targets that's going to get it for the violence against the, the children of Judah because they shed innocent blood in their land. So this is what is going to uh, be the end of these people that put us in slavery and try to act like they some victims. They trying to play the victim. Now, what I want to get. Yeah, they trying to play the victim like they ain't did nothing. Let me get second edges six and nine. They say, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See, these Edomites, they the ones controlling the world. They the ones that's sitting around and telling bold-faced lies uh, why they controlling the world. Let's get um, Revelation 12 and 9. Talking about these red dragon Edomites. Because Edom means red. And this dragon, let's get verse 3. It says, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon. See, Edom means red. Verse 9, And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. See, these Edomites deceiving the whole world. Let's get it in another place to show you that this talking about these red dragons. Now here it says um, I, and I, verse 2 and I saw behold she spread her wings over all the earth so they're going to have, they rulership going to be over all the earth. Verse 5, moreover, I beheld and lo, the eagle flew with her feathers and rained upon the earth over them that dwell, uh, dwell in therein. So these people reigning on the earth, and they the ones that's ruling, these Edomites. Now look at verse 40, it says, the fourth came, talking about the fourth kingdom on the earth, so he get this from Daniel. It says, and overcame all the beasts that were passed and had power over the world with great fearfulness and the whole compass of the earth with which much oppression and so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. See, that's why he say he deceived the whole world. And this was not talking about some fallen angel. This was talking about the fourth kingdom, the fourth beast that reigned on the earth. Look at 39. It say, are, are not you it that remained of the fourth beast, uh, whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their times might come through them? See, they're going to be reigning in the end. These Edomites, Esau is the end of the world, see? And they're going to be uh, ruling the whole world, having power over the whole world. And they're going to be um, having wicked oppression. And they're going to be ruling with deceit. That's why I said Edom is the border of wickedness. See, they deceive the whole world. They the red dragon and they the devil and Satan, these Edomites who sit around and put the Israelites in slavery, hanging them, castrating them, raping them, uh, pedophiling them, buck breaking them, doing homosexual activity to them. See, eating them like they eating food. These people were doing all kind of wickedness to the slaves in, in the Atlantic slave trade. And they're going to try to lie and say they only had three slaves. Let's get their um, sentence 
of what they're going to go through for doing it. It said, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. That captivity means slavery. You that put somebody in slavery, you're going to get put in slavery. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See, this is what's going to happen to these red dragons, to these Edomites. And all of them the same. It's going to their bloodline, see. Genesis 36. It says, Now these are the generations of Esau who is Edom. Why ain't nobody heard about Esau, Edom in the Christian church? In the Roman Catholic Church, the Edomite Catholic Church, the Edomite Universal Church, because Catholic means universal. Edomite Universal Church try to bring everybody together, like Habakkuk 2 and 5 say. It says, verse 9, all these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites. See, that's who these people is, man. Now, verse 12 says, Eliphaz had Amalek. See, these Amal Amalekites, they the ones who running everything. That's who did, he was talking to, an Amalekite. They, is, they are a bloodline. They're the grandson of Esau. And here go all of the different tribes. See, they were dukes of the sons of Esau. Esau had many sons. Eliphaz was one. Teman was one, Omar, Zophar, uh, Kenaz, uh, Korah, um, Gatam, Gatam, and Amalek. See, these was tribes that the Edomites had. And so the Amalek is this top tribe of these uh, so-called uh, Jewish people. And they trying to hide up under the cloak that they so-called Jewish and the, the other tribes is white people. So they ain't white people. <laughs> when white people don't exist, that's something they made up in 1681. Um, and that, that label don't exist. That's not a label. See, that's not a nationality. These people just hiding under these false uh, realities of nationality. But I'm gonna leave it there. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rikakadash, the one to the elder, pushing the truth. Peace of these led worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.